hi there welcome to java cipher mode operation video tutorial in this video we will see what are the different block cipher modes and how we can use in our java program so there are five confidentiality mode of operation for symmetric key block cipher algorithms and these are referred as ecb cbc cfp OFP and CT. ECB stands for Electronic Codebook Mode, which required padding. CBC stands for Cipher Blocking, Cipher Block Chaining Mode. This also required padding. And CFP stands for Cipher Feedback Mode. That also required padding. These two mode, Output Feedback Mode and Counter Mode, CT doesn't require padding at all. To, to use this block cipher modes, we have to take help of cipher class where we give instance and we provide the transformation. So this is the transformation and it specifies the algorithm name, the mode and the padding. And this instance can also have uh, the name of the algorithm itself. So it has its own vari variations like uh, algorithm mode padding or algorithm. So let's start with the practical example. So I have defined a method encrypt decrypt which will accept a sum text that need to be encrypted. The algorithm, the code block and the padding what I am using here. And this is indication that will give it has to encrypt and this is the key. So I'll focus on key now. So this key is generated using the algorithm DES and it is initialized with the secure random and the key generator has generated the key okay so this is called random generation of the shared secret so once the key is generated you can always store this key into some output stream so that you can use the same key for your encryption and your decryption okay so this is the one x aspect the second aspect is what if if you want to give your own key and don't want to generate a random key so in that case you can use let's say you are given your own key 2b7e 156 ending with 89 so what you have to do you have to get the key byte byte array of it and pass to the appropriate key spec so this thing will cover okay so let's run this program So the first output is the algorithm of DES, ECB, PKCS padding. So in this case you can see the encrypted string is this and when we try to decrypt the same string we got the same text, some text. So this function will have one input text one cipher parameter encrypt or decrypt or the key okay so for cbc the initial vector requirement is there so for the mode cbc you have to provide additional parameter additional input as known as initial vector so for some case the length should be 8 bit and for the some case the length should be 16 bit so for this padding dsed cbc mode i have used the length of 8 bit and for all other cbc mode the initial vector is 16 bit and finally we will pass this initial vector to the encrypt function 
So what this encrypt function will do? So this encrypt function will initialize the cipher with the cipher mode dot encrypt mode and with the key. And for the all the CVC mode, it will initialize with the initial vector. So this is very important. And you can see one more logic is there when no padding is used. So in this case, the length, the plain text length should be a multiple of 16 bytes. So we will take a look one by one what, what I mean. So once I initialize the cipher, I will give this byte, byte array to do final method and what I'll got. I'll got a encrypted. Okay, so this B will pass to the decrypt function, and the same when we try to decrypt it, we have to initialize the decrypt mode. For the CVC, we have to initialize with the initial vector spec, and for the non CVC, for the EVC mode, we have to just give the key. Okay, then we have to do the do final of the input text that is a byte array and we got the decrypted key. Okay, so let's go to use case one by one. In case of no padding, let's take this case what I'm trying to say. So in this no padding case, just change the length and run this program so I got one error illegal ball of block size exception input length is not multiple of 16 byte okay so length of this plain text is 31 so to make it 16 byte block of 16 bit so the length is now 32 now it is a multiple of 30 bit so it got encrypted and decrypted and we got the some text the same text so this thing we have to keep in mind when to when we are using no padding scheme then it's user responsibility to have a block of multiple bytes now just take another use case like how to generate the key Okay, so Sun only provide these three specs DES key spec, DES EED key specs and PBE key spec and it doesn't have any AES key spec. So how to pass the AES, how to create AES keys. To create a DES key spec we can directly use DES key spec function initialize with the key bytes with our own key and create a secret sec secret key factory and generate shared secret for DSED key spec we can take help of sun provide sun implementation of DSED key spec the same thing secret factory DSED and generate the key generate the shared secret using the key spec DSED key spec and pass this key to the encrypt decrypt function okay. so one thing is important uh, again I'm saying like uh, whatever key we are using to generate whatever algorithm we are using to generate the uh, key the same key should be used to encrypt and decrypt so this is the implementation of uh, DSE key spec, PBE key specs and all. To generate uh, AES key specs, we have to use secret key and with the secret keys key spec. Where we pass the AES algorithm and once we got the key and this key can be passed to the 
encrypt decrypt function okay so this can be also be used for generating the dsed without using the dsed key spec okay so here is the example we have created a secret key spec using dsed algorithm and the same algorithm is passed to the encrypt decrypt function okay so let's take one more use case one more point to remember like uh, the length play important role here whatever key we are choosing when we are inputting a key to the algorithm so we have to check we have to use the appropriate length so let's say i just remove one more length here run this program so in this case the wrong key size exception is thrown for this padding ds eecb pkcs padding so here one more scenario is this one when we are using cvc mode how to choose the initial vector size so some case it's required 8 bit and some case it requires 16 bit okay and we got so it decrypted thanks for watching the video do let me know if you have any concerns and don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you